So if you work at Amazon, your job might be in jeopardy. What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Amazon and how they plan on introducing more of these robots to essentially possibly replace humans that work at these Amazon centers packaging up all of our packages. So let's check this out real quick. Article says, will robots lead to job insecurity at Amazon? Says the e-commerce giant's newest automation, Sparrow, picks out items to be shipped to customers, displaying human hand-like dexterity. So this is the robot right here. And apparently this robot can get busy putting packages together just as good as humans. At least that's what they say. Let's check out a video real quick showing the robot in action. So this is our robot, Sparrow, picking up packages. It's placing packages in the bins. It says it can do this just as well as a human. And it looked like it's applying some type of suction to it. It can pick up big things, small things, all things. At least that's what they're saying it can do. All right, so that was just a little snippet of what Sparrow can do. As you saw, it had this little arm here. It looked like it had some type of vacuum tubes that were sucking the items up and placing them in the proper bins. And they say this thing can pick up and package stuff just as good as a human can. So let's find out. Article says that Amazon's robotics laboratory on the outskirts of Boston, Massachusetts, the company's newest automation, Sparrow, picks out items to be shipped to customers displaying human hand-like dexterity. It is the e-commerce giant's most advanced robot yet and could soon do the job of hundreds of thousands of Amazon employees who sort and send 5 billion packages annually. You know, we always get told the robots are going to replace us. I wonder if we are officially witnessing this. Who knows? Says the development of Sparrow and other robots like Robin and Cardinal are fueling fears that Amazon's warehouses will one day be run by machines, leading to huge layoffs. Amazon's robotics chief, Ty Brady, plays down such concerns, which have been expressed by labor unions. He says it's not machines replacing people. He tells journalists during the tour of the lab, which opened in Westboro in October last year. He says it's actually machines and people working together in order to collaborate to do a job. So as equipped with cameras and syndrilical tubes, Sparrow can successfully detect and select an item from millions of products of different shapes and sizes. It gently sucks up items that arrive on the conveyor belt and distributes them into the appropriate basket in front of it using its robotic arm. It says Robin and Cardinal can only redirect entire packages, making Sparrow Amazon's first robot to be able to handle individual products. It says given the variety of materials we have in our warehouses, Sparrow is a a significant accomplishment. It says working with the robotic trio is a small army of machines, including Proteus, whatever that is, which can carry hundreds of kilograms of items around the warehouse. It says the creations will free employees from repetitive tasks to focus on more rewarding and interesting activities while improving safety. Amazon's focus is ensuring that as little time as possible passes between the moment a customer orders an item and the moment it arrives at his or her door. So they say this robot is going to be working with the people, helping the people become more efficient. That's what they say is going to be happening. But here's the reality. If these robots can outperform the humans and do the job way better than the human picker can do, then, you know, look at that from Amazon's perspective. Do you honestly think Amazon is going to keep these people around? I'm just saying. I personally don't see it happening. I personally see the potential for a lot of people whose jobs may be in jeopardy because of this machine. But just saying. The article goes on to talk about drones said that goal has led some workers to accuse the company of treating them like slaves. Oh, Jesus. And of depriving them of food and toilet breaks. Oh, Jesus. What's really going on up in these Amazon warehouses, man? Says in statements, Amazon has insisted it provides a safe and positive workplace for employees. And apart from one warehouse in New York has resisted unionization. Amazon's desire to deliver items quicker is driving its investment in automation. By the end of this year, it will begin delivering packages weighing up to two kilograms and less than an hour from warehouses in Lockford, California in College Station, Texas. The company aims to deliver 500 million packages by drone by the end of the decade, including in major U.S. cities such as Boston, Atlanta, and Seattle. So it's around 75% of Amazon's 5 billion annual orders is handled at some point by a robot. And it says for decades, the conventional wisdom was that increased automation destroys workforces. Studies now suggest that moving towards robots and 
e-commerce will not lead to massive job losses in the short to medium term due to the huge growth in demand. It says, however, a 2019 study by the University of California's Labor Center at Berkeley warned that while some technologies can alleviate arduous warehouse tasks, they could also contribute to increasing the workload and pace of work. The researchers added that technological advances might also contribute towards new methods of monitoring workers and cited the Amazon's Mission Racer video game that pits workers against one another to assemble customer orders fastest. Amazon says its innovation has generated more than a million jobs in 700 new job categories, mainly in highly specialized engineering, but also as technicians and operators. All right, so here's my quick little two cents on this story. So basically, if you are an employee at Amazon and your main job is to pick packages up and ship them out to the customers, and if you honestly believe that Amazon is not looking for a way to get you up out of there and replace you with a robot, you're living in la-la land. And the reason why is because human beings cost too much money. You guys got to take lunch breaks, bathroom breaks, smoke breaks, vacation time. You get sick, you get angry, you're happy, you're sad. You know, you got all this range of human emotion and all of that range of human emotion comes with an economic price tag affixed to it, right? So if you're Amazon and you're trying to figure out how can we ship out more products and keep our costs down? Well, in their eyes, it might be more cost efficient to get a robot in there to replace you. Now, is this going to happen overnight? Probably not. But are they aiming to do this in the next 10, 15, 20 years? Bet your bottom dollar they are aiming to do that. And if you need any further proof, just go to your local Walmart and look at how many self-checkout machines there are versus cashiers. You go to a Walmart right now, you might have 20 self-checkout machines and maybe one or two cashiers working there. Why? Because it is just simply flat out cheaper to have you scan your own stuff and bag it up and paying somebody $15, $20 an hour to scan your stuff up and bag it up. That's just the way these things go. So how does this affect you if you fall into this position where you feel like your job may be in jeopardy because of a robot? Well, the reality is you need to invest in a skill set that is not so easily replaceable by a robot, whether it's artificial intelligence or an actual robot like this sparrow thing right here. You need to go out there and learn a skill that society deems as valuable, become great at it, and go out there and make it do what it do. I mean, that is really the short, simple, sweet answer I can give you because like I stated before, we've all seen the videos. The robots are coming to replace us. May happen tomorrow, may happen next week, may happen a year from now, 10 years from now. But as soon as these companies can figure out how to get these robots to do what you do at the exact same level you can do it or better, they will replace you. So you guys need to think about these things, which is why you need to get into IT and get into tech because we stay booming over here, baby. We stay booming, especially in the cybersecurity industry. We stay booming out here. So think about these things, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you work at Amazon or you know somebody at Amazon, because I know about two or three people that work at Amazon collecting the packages to ship out to people. They do great work, but at the same time, like I stated earlier, if Amazon can find a way to get rid of them, they will. And that's just the way it unfortunately goes. So anyways, that's my two cents on this story. Y'all have a great day and I'll holler at you on the next video. So peace.